going on, guys? It's your girl, Godly. I have brought with me the one, the only, Leo TK. What's good, Leo? What's going on, y'all? <laughs> All right. I brought Leo today to talk about the new Call of Duty. Yesterday, it was confirmed from Sledgehammer that they will be developing the new Call of Duty, uh, most likely MW4. So I brought Leo with me to see kind of, you know, what his thoughts are, just another perspective on it. What do you think? Um. I'm kind of happy they're going to be having three developers now. So, you know, it gives them more time to polish out a game instead of rushing it out. I agree. I feel like every year it's been, you know, rushed. rushed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Too many broken features in yeah, it. Yeah, so. definitely. And, you know, in one of the last commentaries I did, I talked about how the Call of Duty community, you know, had talked and was just pretty much upset in saying that the newest Call of Duties had lacked quality. Would you agree? Yeah, they became stale after a while. You know, they just didn't listen or looked into things as far as what we enjoyed. They just basically rushed the game. Yeah, you know? I agree. I agree 100%. I think that each year it's been rushed. And I actually thought that they might even take a year off. You know, that's I know what that, I was thinking. Yeah. Also. So I heard there was going to be, we, we're going to have to wait till what, 2015 to see right. the next Call of Duty. But apparently they want that money. So they added another developer in. <laughs> now you think that that's a good idea? Uh, it's, I'm like 50 50. So I'm hoping it's a good idea. But I'm just hoping they don't mess up since, you know, they're going to try to outdo each other every year. Yeah. But right. also they have three years, you know. In between to polish out, like I said, polish out the game and maybe, you know, not be as broken as the past Call of Duties. Well, do you think, though, that with having with, you know, three different developers, do you think that that is going to be really noticeable? I mean, don't you think? Oh, yeah, you can tell from each developer has its own style. You know, Black Ops 2 to Ghost and MW3, they were all different, even though they were made by two Companies now we're gonna have three. So MW3 was, I don't know, like enjoyable. But I know there's people that had like connection issues and all that stuff. But I kind of I enjoyed it when it came out. I did too. Like I didn't. I've heard a lot of people complain about the connection. I know I, for me, like I had a little bit of a connection, but I ended up just buying a new router and we were <laughs> golden, you know. Right. And but I don't know. Like I never had as bad of an issue as I did with Black Ops 2. I mean, everybody knows I complain <laughs> the entire year, you know. And with Ghost, I'm just like, I don't know. It is what it is. It like, is, I'm yeah. not See, over you're different because I, I enjoyed Black Ops 2. Whatever. Uh, Ghost, I, Ghost is just so, oh, my God, it's just so much stuff that's wrong with it, from IEDs to dogs to rooftops to windows. You know, it's like they promoting camping now. So. But see, that's what everybody kept saying with the snipers. Oh, there's always something to counteract. You know, but I feel like with Black Ops 2, people were like, oh, well, it's okay, except for the hit detection and the lag. And it's like, <laughs> broken well... Broken camera. Yeah, and the broken camera. It's like, well, what else is there? Like, right. if I can't play the game, what's the point? Exactly. Yeah. So, like I said, I complained. I'm not a big Treyarch fan. Um, Infinity Ward, you know, kind of feel like they kind of fallen off, so they, I'm excited about Sledgehammer. I, I am too. So I'm just saying it's that's why I'm just hoping they don't try to outdo each other. Maybe right. they can just add to it or balance out instead of patch after patch after patch. There right. shouldn't be patches once a game comes out. There I should agree. be one or two, but I mean we had what three in the yeah in, in a month or two months. I mean it's un uncalled for. I agree. I think that. You know, I, I do agree, though, that there should be one or two because, of course, any product, any game is going to have, you know, flaws and you need to get it out there to see. But we had talked about this before as far as having betas and stuff, you know, whatever happened. I remember that. Call of Duty 4 had a beta. Yeah. You know, everybody enjoyed it. I think it's one of the best, my top three Call of Duties ever. Right. I, I mean, agree. I don't know. I can't remember if MW2 had it, but I know Call of Duty 4 did. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that, like I said, they don't try to outdo each other. Like they're gonna add, try to add more features to it. I'm hoping they go back to World at War type of style, but mm -hmm. but I say that too. Like if you're gonna take it back that far, like you no, know, no, we don't need to have any of this, you know, technological advanced <laughs> kind of crap. No oracles, no, um, you know. They better have a claymore with a string attached. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to put. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just don't want any, you know, if you're going to take it back, let's take it back. Right. You know, and I'm fine with that, but I don't think that they would do that. You know? Um, no. 
I don't think so. I just like Sledgehammer. I I think Sledgehammer made MW3, mm -hmm. and I was fine with that game. I don't. I think people were discussing, like I said, connection issues and the death streaks. Yeah, That's, I think that was one of the top, you know, complaints from that game. But I was fine with the death streaks. I mean, hell, you're gonna reward a uh, do that can play have at it. You know, right? I mean, well, and I mean, you want to talk about that as far as ghosts? Feel like we're you know rewarding the camber. Exactly. So. Uh, just oh my god I don't want to get into ghosts <laughs> so I mean that's pretty much it though I, like I said I am excited you know to see Sledgehammer my biggest concern with having three developers you know or three different developers is that um, I kind of felt like you know you're going to see three different games. games is it still all going to be the same you know what I mean like, I'm just hoping that, like you say and I'm just like again I'm hoping <laughs> but I hope they keep the same style you know it's like action you know packed right games, you know run and gun don't don't make the map so big like ghost did it's just it's not call of duty to me ghost is not call of duty they try to um make it more battlefield type i agree know? with it's, the size of the maps yeah. and stuff yeah so i'm i'm hoping if they do have you know try to outdo each other as long as they keep the same formula as far as action pack small maps to medium-sized maps right I know, I agree. And I think, you know, like you said, Call of Duty 4, I loved Call of Duty 4. And and they had big maps, but it was always action-packed yeah. regardless where you were, you know, it was... Right. Well, and you know, the other day, uh, my friend Wiggy was talking about it. He was like, how much did we really know about Call of Duty 4? We didn't really know at that point, you know, about yeah. it. I don't know if we're just more into it now or we're more, it, you know, a, you pay attention more. I think just... It's the whole YouTube thing. You want to break down the game to the, you know, to the team. Right. It basically, like, whoever did that broken camera thing, I mean, I don't know how the hell you came up with that or <laughs> what gave you that idea, but good for you. I mean, exactly. it, it, it let us know that we're paying 60 bucks for a broken game, which is, it shouldn't happen for a company that's making so much money. Yeah. You know, and it's, and I know that patches are good to a, to a point, you yeah. know, but balancing out a gun is, it's uncalled for. You should know already. You know, we bitch and complain for a whole year that this gun should be like this and this gun should be like that. Right. All right. Take down notes. Make the next game like that or even better. But don't give us patches after patch. Right. You know? And that all kind of comes back, you know, even with the gun balance. You know, people still, still complaining about snipers. And I don't think that people understand with that whole concept that snipers are designed to be a one shot kill. Right. If you nerf it or tweak it too much, you're taken away from what it's actually supposed to do. You know, yeah. so I don't know, but with, you know, Black Ops 2, I just oh, I complained. I had hell the entire like game and even 6 7 months, you know, after release, we're still getting, you know, we were still getting patches <laughs> and yeah. It's just like really um, I, I don't get it. Like I would like to just have a game regardless of who who developed it. Make it. Yeah. Right. Let me, I just want it to flow. It just feels like, you know, I completely agree with that article that the the newest Call of Duties, you know, are lacking quality. They're rushed. They're just pushed out. And they're trying to do too much, and you know. Yeah. And it's not working out for them. Hopefully, you know, with this developer being added, Sledgehammer, hopefully, you know, they have enough. So from what I heard, they're going to have three years to make, you know, the next Call of Duty each company. I heard that Sledgehammer... It's been on the making from what 2011 mm -hmm. doing mw4 maybe i don't know what the title might be but you know they had a, quite a few years to make it so right. i mean now we're going to be more into it you yeah. know like if it's going to take you three years and it's still broken There's something's issue. wrong <laughs> yeah now that you said that like i yeah you know you better be you better be on you know point. better not yeah, tag you better not drop the ball after <laughs> no. you know you got three years to make a game i know i have no clue about making the games but you know still we're gonna break it down <laughs> right exactly i would think in three years that you could almost perfect it yeah you know i mean surely to god it's not gonna be a perfect game i know there's gonna be patches needed but still you know you're gonna have three years you better right. make sure it's a good game and, you know, it's flawless. Not to a point, but, yeah. you know, that we don't have to need or will need patches to balance out stuff. Exactly. Well, and apparently for 2015, it's going to be Black Ops 3. Yeah, Black Ops 3, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not a big Treyarch fan, but and go ahead. <laughs> I'm just hoping Black Ops 3, you know, next year and MW4, hopefully this year. 
I do too. I could care less about Ghost. I could too. Unless they fit, you know, redo the whole game. Yeah, there's so many issues. I don't (laughs) even know where to begin. That's another commentary in and of itself. All right, guys. That's what I got for you guys. I appreciate Leo TK for coming and. Thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. I hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, peace out.